want to see the stripping process in more detail, go check out my video called Rifle Stock Refinishing 1 of 3, and that'll go into more detail of how I use Citri Strip to strip down this stock. All right, you can see here I just got a regular old three color tie dye kit from Walmart. It is the turquoise, yellow, and fuchsia kit. I'm not going to be using the yellow in it, I'm just going to be using the turquoise and the uh, fuchsia colors. So when I first started putting this on, uh, I was freaking out a little bit just because the stock was a lot more green than I thought it was going to be. But the kits are cool, they're designed that the colors will go together good with each other. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're buying a kit and when you first start putting your, your colors on the stock. Here I've got a regular old piece of 220 grit sandpaper and uh, basically I'm just going to go over the whole stock with it to get any rough spots out. Um, however, I am going to focus in on the middle part here. You can see me pointing at it. Uh, basically I'm going to try to get uh, some of that turquoise out of there. Um, if I were to just to leave the turquoise on there, then I wouldn't get the fade look I was going for because everything would be a, a solid color. And uh, this is pretty cool. Once you put the, uh, the fuchsia on there, uh, the uh, turquoise goes more of a purple color, so that blends in really nice together. And you'll see that here as I as I start working it in. But I'm going to focus the fuchsia mostly in the middle here and go lightly over the top and bottom of the stock where the turquoise is is on there. Just going to use a hair blow dryer to kind of quickly dry this thing out. Okay, I'm just going to hit this again with some turquoise color. Uh, again, I'm just focusing in on the uh, the top and the bottom of the stock because I want that, that fade look or that burst look. Basically, this is the same technique they use on, on guitars when they're coloring guitars. After adding the uh, turquoise to the top and the bottom, you can see that it's darker purple than in the middle there, and it's quite a contrasted line now. I don't really want it to be so contrasted, so I'm going to go ahead and use some of this fuchsia and uh, smooth blend this all together so that it softens it up a bit. After adding this last layer of fuchsia, I realized that uh, it's just a little bit darker of a purple than I actually want. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this off, and then I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper and sand down the sides just a little bit, and then add some more fuchsia color so that it's uh, more of the bright fuchsia rather than the fuchsia and turquoise mix, which makes it a darker purple. Once your stock dries, you'll notice that it looks pretty bright and quite chalky. Don't let that be a discouragement to you. Once you put the uh, true oil back on it, it'll look a lot more like it did when it was wet and when you were adding the stain to it, so no worries there. I'm going to go ahead and give this stock one last light sanding. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm hoping that I can get the wood grain to kind of show up a little bit better when I put the true oil on it. After letting the stock thoroughly dry, I'm going to go ahead and use some tack cloth just to remove any excess debris off of here before adding the true oil. You can see here that I'm going to be using some true oil to finish this stock off. It's going to require about 10 layers. It is a little bit time consuming to use, but I really like using it. Uh, I'm not going to go into great detail on how to do the uh, finish on this stock. If you want to see how to do the finish in greater detail, check out my video, Rifle Stock Refinishing 3 of 3, and that will give you a better sense of what to do. Okay, you can see here I've got an orbital sander with a piece of rag attached to it. Um, and then I'm just going to take the uh, polishing compound, wipe it on the stock, and then buff the stock out with the orbital sander. Uh, this process works really, really well. Um, I recommend doing it this way. It's a lot less messy than using a buffing wheel, too. Finally, I've got some gun stock wax, which is pretty much the last step in the process. I'm going to go ahead and rub this into the stock, 
This uh, brings out the, the last little bit of luster to the stock and makes it nice and pretty. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and put the gun back together again and uh, I'll give you a look at what it looks like. Well there she is, the purple stock you've been watching in this tutorial and it turned out really really nice. I'm actually quite surprised. I never would have thought of using tie-dye on this. I was talking to a guy about, about guns and, and refinishing stocks and he recommended it to me. So I thought I'd give it a shot, see how it went and it went really really well. Basically I used a, a turquoise and fuchsia and I was kind of going for a, a fade look where it was darker on the outsides. You can kind of see there, it's a little bit darker. And then lighten it up in, here in the middle. Kind of blended in more uh, once I started sanding it down and stuff. But that's okay, it still has a unique look and it is really, really pretty. Um, in case you're wondering why it's purple, it's because I let my daughters choose the, uh, the dye for it. So that's the reason there. Um, anyway, if you want a different color, want to see a different color, here's another stock that I did. This is a uh, tobacco brown and vintage amber and it turned out really nice as well. So there's an alternative to this. You can find both of these uh, um, tutorials on my uh, my channel or on my website, theprojectjunkie.com. My name is Mark, and I will catch you guys on the next project.